And there are still thousands of ballots yet to be cast right here in Kentucky. Although the reason for choosing a candidate is different for everyone, one of the more common questions voters have is how will each candidate affect my wallet? Claire Kopsky continues our Decision 2020 coverage. When it comes to money in your wallet after the election, financial experts say there are a few factors worth considering. First up, the stock market. No one really knows what will happen from day to day, but one financial expert says history often repeats itself with a four-year election cycle, with the market performing worse at the first half of a president's term than the second half. Studies show the Dow has gone up about 9% annually when Democrats are in control and increased 6% annually during Republican administrations. So from an investment standpoint, it's really not enough to make that drastic of a difference long term. He says elections should not drive investment decisions, but says a candidate's stance on taxes should be something of interest to a voter. The tax cuts and job acts uh, is President Trump's signature policy. It made big changes to estate and income taxes with the goal of putting more money back in Americans' pockets. Trump has suggested implementing other policies if he is elected for a second term, like a Made in America tax credit. But Riney says the precise details are still unclear. Biden's tax plan, on the other hand, is starkly different. Joe Biden has said he wants to raise taxes for those making more than $400,000 a year. Uh, which will fund a host of new initiatives. Another hot button that could affect your wallet, Social Security. President Trump's executive order deferring payroll taxes until 2021 went into effect on September 1st as a part of his coronavirus economic relief efforts. The big concern is that this has the potential to impact Social Security which is nearly 90% funded by payroll taxes. Riney says Biden wants to increase Social Security benefits for Americans and plans to fund it through higher payroll taxes for the wealthy. Speaking of payroll, the current federal minimum wage sits at $7.25, but Biden has proposed raising it to $15. Meanwhile, President Trump wants to leave that decision up to the states. If you add all these points up, you may find yourself with a candidate that you believe in. But a candidate's true net value will be clear after they're elected. Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.